Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser and this is the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain Television. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, met at Gudabia Palace today. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. The meeting discussed a number of mechanisms to maintain the workflow of various development fields and ways of overcoming challenges imposed by the regional and international economic development. The Royal Highness has confirmed several strategic projects are going to be established in line with the Royal Directives of His Majesty the King in accordance to the government's commitment to its development approach to upgrade the quality of the people's living standards. They highlighted that the government is always keen to adopt policies and strategies that support all elements related to progress, especially in the economic and investment fields. The meeting also reviewed related international economic updates in addition to programmes and policies of the government to ensure the continuity of development process. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gurbia Palace today the Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali Al Salah, members of the representatives and Shura Councils and senior officials in which they discussed a number of local and international topics. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed that ongoing urban development in the Kingdom reflects an international trust in Bahrain's openness and investment environment. The Prime Minister added that the Kingdom's development march aims to achieve citizens' aspirations and the government's keenness to implement its development projects in various fields. His Royal Highness called on assessing the economic status in order to overcome all challenges threatening the investment environment. He also noted the government's keenness to support investments in the Kingdom through facilitating the investments process as well as establishing a developed infrastructure. His Royal Highness praised the cooperation between the legislative and executive authorities which aims to achieve aims and aspirations of Bahraini citizens.
The Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudabiyah Palace today the Qatari ambassador to Bahrain, Sheikh Jassim bin Mohammed bin Saud Al Thani, to present to His Royal Highness an invitation to attend a ceremony held by the embassy on the occasion of Qatar's National Day. The Prime Minister highlighted the Bahraini Qatari relations and its development in various fields, expressing satisfaction of the growth of bilateral relations, which was reflected on the level of joint cooperation. His Royal Highness pointed out Qatar's rapid urban and civil development, wishing Qatar and its people further progress and prosperity under its wise leadership. For his part, the Qatari ambassador expressed pride in His Royal Highness's keenness to support and reinforce bilateral relations and expand joint cooperation and coordination in all aspects. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting at Gudabiyah Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The cabinet extended congratulations to His Majesty the King's wise leadership and the people of Bahrain on the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne and National Day. The meeting also noted the importance of Bahrain's Commemoration Day on December 17th, during which the country will pay tribute to the bravery and sacrifice of the kingdom's martyrs while serving the country. In regards to Bahrain Police Day, the cabinet praised the role and efforts of Bahrain's police officers and their service to the kingdom and its citizens. The cabinet welcomed the recent Paris Agreement, which emphasizes the importance of protecting the environment and supporting economic development. It praised the outcomes of the 36th GCC summit held recently in Riyadh under the chairmanship of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. The summit's outcomes emphasize the importance of further strengthening joint GCC action and support King Salman's vision to further enhance GCC unity. A number of memorandums submitted by ministries and ministerial committees were also discussed during this week's cabinet meeting, including the approval of a memorandum regarding a draft law to issue a list of licenses for public transport activities and permit fees for activities of public transport companies, institutions and individuals. The Cabinet approved a memorandum regarding a MOU between the Government of Bahrain and the Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan Charity Foundation in the United Arab Emirates related to the establishment of an educational and vocational training institute in the Kingdom. The meeting approved a memorandum regarding the implementation of the recommendations contained in the National Audit Office latest report. It also approved a memorandum regarding the review reports for the year 2015 by the National Authority for Qualifications and Quality Assurance of Educational and Vocational Training related to the current situation of education and training institutions in the Kingdom. The meeting reviewed a report by the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs related to projects implemented by the Ministry during 2015. The Cabinet also took note of a number of draft proposals by the Representatives' Council. Following the Cabinet meeting, Minister of Information and Parliament Affairs Isa Al Hamadi held a press conference during which he outlined the outcomes of the meeting. The Minister said the Government is fully committed to its firm approach in dealing with the observations and recommendations of the National Audit Office's report. He pointed out that this year's report shows a 38% decrease of violations in comparison to previous years, which reflects the Government's commitment to correct any error. In regards to reducing expenses, the Minister said the recommendations of the Government Task Force can lead to reduce recurring expenses to up to 30 to 35 per cent, stressing that the recommendations are being put into force. Minister Al Hamadi pointed out that there are major projects in Bahrain with the worth of over 32 billion, which will provide more job opportunities to citizens and will support many businesses. 
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met at Gudabia Palace today the Gulf Cooperation Council's Secretary General, Dr Abdul Latif Al Zayani. The Crown Prince stressed that increased GCC coordination is necessary in light of the challenges currently faced by the region. He added that GCC collaboration is underpinned by the shared priorities of meeting GCC citizens' aspirations and maintaining security and stability within the region. His Royal Highness congratulated Al Zayani and wished him every success following his reappointment as GCC's Secretary General. He noted his reappointment demonstrates the significant achievements the GCC Secretariat has made under his leadership and the trust that GCC leaders have in his ability. The Crown Prince was then briefed on the outcomes of the 36th GCC summit that took place recently in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. He hailed the role the summit plays in strengthening cooperation amongst GCC countries across a range of sectors and emphasised Saudi Arabia's pivotal role in supporting the GCC and its development, which reflects the vision of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness expressed hope for increased GCC integration in the future and noted the upcoming GC summits in Bahrain will play a significant role in further reinforcing GCC ties, which is an essential element of tackling regional and international challenges. For his part, the GCC Secretary General emphasised the important role Bahrain plays under the leadership of His Majesty the King in further increasing GCC cooperation. He expressed appreciation and gratitude to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for his firm support to GCC integration and collaboration across all levels. The personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received today representatives of sponsoring companies and heads of committees of the Ironman Triple Crown Championship. His Highness Sheikh Nasser hailed His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's constant support and follow-up of the Ironman Triple Crown Championship, which resulted in achieving success in hosting such major sports events by the Kingdom. His Highness also expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his remarkable support, which contributed in organising the event at the best level. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed his appreciation to the sponsors of the Ironman Championship, which contributed in the successful hosting of the Championship by the Kingdom. His Highness also expressed appreciation to all government bodies who participated in organising this sporting event.
The Shura Council congratulated the wise leadership and the people of Bahrain on the occasion of the Kingdom's celebrations on the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne and National Day. In a statement, the Shura Council affirmed the celebration is an annual occasion to renew loyalty to the wise leadership and the homeland and to reinforce the spirit of nationalism to push forward the Kingdom's development process. The statement added that the occasion is a good opportunity to recall national accomplishments in all fields that reflect the reinforcement of the role of constitutional institutions and the state of law in addition to activating the role of civil society institutions, confirming the political rights of women and protecting human rights and freedom of speech, thanks to the reform project of His Majesty the King. The Council also highlighted the royal order of marking the 17th of December as Commemoration Day, which is a day to honour the martyrs of the Kingdom and their families for the sacrifices they have made to defend their homeland. Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, attended today the parade marking Bahrain Police Day, celebrated on December 14th of every year. Also present were Interior Ministry Under Secretary for Nationality, Passport and Residence Affairs, Head of Customs General Inspector, Interior Ministry Under Secretary and Public Security Chief. The celebration comes in recognition of the tremendous efforts and sacrifices made by Bahraini police in maintaining national security and safety for the people of Bahrain. The Interior Minister offered his best wishes and greetings to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince on the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne and Bahrain's National Day. He also expressed gratitude and appreciation to the constant support provided to Bahrain police by the wise leadership to elevate the security level in all aspects. Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah also expressed sincere thanks and appreciation to the tremendous efforts exerted by policemen in the protection of security and general order.
Since the beginning of last century, the Kingdom of Bahrain has taken an interest in supporting women's participation and activating their role in society out of its belief in their effective and essential role in the nation building and progress march. Bahraini women have achieved so many amazing milestones regionally and internationally. More now on their success in this report with Sarah al -Burik. The development process in the kingdom is based on the efforts of all Bahrainis, men and women. The leadership and the people of Bahrain have repeatedly voiced pride in the Bahraini women competencies who have proven their outstanding capabilities and skills in various fields and reached top leadership and executive positions well deservedly in the kingdom's government and private sector. The main association who has been a hub for achievements of women in Bahrain is the Supreme Council for Women, and 2015 was a tremendous year for them. Highlights were such as the Bahraini Women's Day themed women in the financial and banking sector. Women today in the financial and banking sector are present and present very strongly. They're well educated, they have the proper training, and uh, the regulations, as, as far as I'm aware, are helpful. There is nothing that can obstruct her reaching to the top. Uh, this is something available for her. And all that we need to see is that women move from the middle management to the leadership roles. Also the inauguration of an international conference themed Women in Public Life, from policies to impact, which is co-organized by SCW and the Organization of Economic Cooperation and Development. The journey of uh, a Bahraini woman uh, since the early starts of her education, uh, which goes back to 1928. Uh, so we are really proud of what we discover year after year when we focus on a certain theme and we see um, a lot of accomplishments that women has made so far uh, in addition to finding some obstacles in addition to finding some challenges that we would like to uh, overcome and help uh, Bahraini women and their institutions to put the right strategies in order to uh, keep it going and keep the momentum of uh, women in progress in Bahrain. One of Bahrain's national strategies is to empower Bahraini women through well-defined plans and partnerships between the public and private sectors, the civil society institutions and international organizations. The SCW has adopted an approach based on continuous follow-up and assessment of growing social awareness and its impact on communal practice. We are proud that these sectors uh, uh, give us the diversity. Bahraini women uh, comprise uh, 36% in 2014, 2015 they are 35% of the Bahrainis working in this sector and 26% of the total workforce in this sector. So this in its own is evidence of uh, the importance of the Bahraini women's role. Uh, not only that, uh, they have also uh, achieved decision-making positions in the sector and the important thing that uh, there is sustainability. Thanks to their competence and ambitions, Bahraini women today hold high posts in the government and the Council of Representatives and the Shura Council. They have a prominent presence in the interior defense and judicial sectors and enjoy leading positions in the trade and economic fields. This is Sarah Lebrek for Bahrain 55. And now for all the latest on the markets, it's the business news with Danielle. Thanks very much, Paul. A very good evening and welcome to the business news here on Bahrain Television. The Bahrain All Shares Index closed today at 1,206.7 points, a decrease of 5.51 points below yesterday's closing level. Trading dipped in the investment and commercial bank sector, with the latter representing the majority 76% of total share value traded. In total, there were 44 transactions today, involving 1,648,618 shares, worth 286,321 Bahraini dinars. <laughs> 